So you're working with a college men's soccer team, okay. right? And, but you also work University of Oregon football team. Is there any difference in the both strength training programs for those athletes? Because they're two different sports, but right. they're also change of direction mm -hmm. sports. Is there any difference in yeah, that? Yeah, there's, there should be, right? Um, because of the demands of the game. Football is a physical game. You have to be strong. You have to have, you know, you have to have certain body mass to take on those hits at all times, you know, and that doesn't happen in soccer right. as, as in, often. In football, yeah. there's so many different bodies. Like you have big linemen, but you have really little skill guys. In soccer, the height of the players really just changed. The body weight is normally around the same, depending on the depending height. Depending on the position so too, yeah. all the players on, on the soccer field are relatively the same size. So, but also it's not as physical as football, right? The demands of the game are very different. You're running longer in soccer. Um, you don't get as much rest in soccer as you would a football game. So the demands of the game are, are, are different. So you have to train a little bit different. Now, the aspect of lifting is always lifting. If you the exercise on, will be the right. same. If you go in the weight room and lift and become very strong, that doesn't mean that you got better at your sport. It just means that you might be more resilient towards injuries if you did it right, right. correct? So, right. Um, and, and if you're doing the right training for what you're trying to accomplish. So yeah, it should be different, but it all depends on where you're at in the off season and what you're trying to accomplish. Like, I'm not gonna have my soccer guys doing a lot of compound movements. You know, I would probably hit two major movements like a, a squat and a press or something, or a, a, a squat and a posterior chain exercise or something like that. And then we'll get into more um, supplemental exercises that aid in like rotation or, you know, something that they don't hit on the field or um, really, any injury prevention you could put down at the bottom of that. Whereas like a football lift is more of a, a grind or a grit, you know, and you're getting in there and you're moving a lot of heavy weight and you're trying to do it for either fast or, or a lot of reps or something like that. So the aspects of training can be very similar, but you know, what you're trying to accomplish and what the demands of the game is gonna make the, the training session a little bit different. And as it should be, I mean, I don't necessarily need my soccer guys to squat 400 pounds. It's not, it's not in their game. They don't have to move massive dudes, and they don't try, have to like. It's not a, com it's not a combat sport, right? right? And so, I don't have to train you to get ready to move a physical dude or. You know. And in, in in the football training sessions, you're seeing those guys lift yeah. a lot of yeah, weight, right? heavy weight, right? And I just don't need my soccer guys to do that. It's not what the game demands from them. So, yes, we will hit basic fundamentals for them, but make it so it's not so, I wouldn't say tough, but um, intense. Like it just doesn't need to be as intense as, as some football training. So correct me if I'm wrong. Let's say the exercises is pretty much, are pretty much the same exercises, but what changes the most would be the amount of repetitions and the weights that's yeah. on the barbell. At, at times, for sure, because like, at the beginning, at at the beginning of the off season, you want to like recondition your your players, your athletes, right? Um, put mass on them if they lost some mass during the season, get them healthy wherever they were hurt, stuff like that. So you're gonna you may do it by volume, you may do it by tempo, but then once you get closer to the season, you're priming them to move heavyweight fast or lightweight really fast or you know. Uh, stuff like that. So you're priming them to transfer that all the sports. So if your sport is very explosive, just like most sports are, you need to be doing more explosive movements and more explosive stuff on the field, running, jumping, throwing med balls, stuff like that. Whereas you're not going to do that at the beginning of the off season because their bodies aren't trained to do that. And it's a, it's just like progression. Yeah, it's a progression. You know, you, there's little steps you have to take in order to get to that position and prime them for the season because early in the off season, you're the furthest away from sport. So you have plenty of time. So that, that means that make sure you take your time to, to regenerate your body and make sure it's recovered. So that way, when we do move into things that are more complex, we don't have any drawbacks. And we're on the field and we're moving and we're getting better pretty much. And right. making sure that when you get to that June, July phase before fall, um, 
it's it, it's ready to go. Yeah, you just hit the ground running when you get into preseason. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did, please subscribe down below. And if you're interested to learn more and watch the full interview, click down here. I'll catch you soon. Have a good one.